Hello there, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve, welcoming you back to episode 28 of our Let's Play. I think it's 28. Um, yeah, I think so. And so I'm going to start this one off by giving you a tour of our last little part of the African exhibit. Um, if you remember from last episode, we actually had a big crash at the end where I lost most of my data right around this area. Uh, but I went through and finished it like I said I would. So you can see our aardvarks are doing fantastic. Our serval right across the way. I believe it's inside right now, it looks like. But uh, it's perfectly happy, and I'm going to give you that long-awaited tour of our walkthrough aviary. Uh, so just join me down the path here. Excuse me, Mrs. Zookeeper. And as we walk in, we can see uh, there are our helmeted guinea fowls and our bee eaters. They're doing great on the blue-headed side. And if we look across the way here... Oh, I see one of our vultures down there on the ground. Let's see if we can get a better view going around the path here. Um, no, actually, I think we're getting a worse view. Oh, well. But there you go. That's kind of what it looks like when you walk through it. Um, so we'll go ahead and take ourselves out here. Oh, they're making such cute little sounds. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Alrighty. And that means that we are coming at long last to the end of the African part of our zoo. Um, if you've been paying attention to the channel, you'll notice the past few days I have been asking for a couple of votes of what people wanted to see in our last section here in the southeast corner of the zoo, just across the river. If we go past our reptile house here and our bathroom. And uh, a couple different votes, um, just like last time, number two, um, remember back when we were voting for the African area, number two back then was like a Arctic, Antarctic, Tundra area, came in number two again. Uh, number one actually was uh, rainforest, and uh, rainforest jungle type area. And so I'm going to concentrate on the rainforest, that's what's going to take care of this south east corner, like I said, let's switch to the map mode. And you can see I've already begun kind of uh, putting in a structure here. I've just laid out an outline of what we're going to do today. And what we're going to do today is some um, orangutans to begin our shelter. Uh, mostly because we haven't done large primates yet, and I feel like that zoo is missing it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm also going to do this area a little differently. Like I said, I've already put down sort of the outline of what I wanted here. Um, uh, basically, I'm going to focus on making this area a little bit nicer. Um, well, that's not the way I want to put it. A little bit uh, more pre-planned, I think, is how I want to handle it. Uh, mostly because, like, if you remember in our African area, we kind of had to sort of fit the elephants in to where we could fit them. Um, so this one I'm going to treat a little bit, uh, a little bit more... Uh, the, I, the words escape me now, which is a good thing since I'm recording this live and not writing anything down, so it just makes me sound elegant and smart. Um, but I just kind of want to go through, and it's probably going to be less exhibits, but they're going to be a little bit larger. Uh, yeah, there's probably only going to be like four or five exhibits in this uh, rainforest area. But uh, like I said, they're going to be a little bit larger, a little more planned out, and they're probably going to take a little bit longer to complete because I want to put a little bit more care, a little bit more detail into them so they can also work... Uh, not just like I'm filling in the areas, but also work kind of as a tutorial for anyone still watching the Let's Play. Um, so like I said, I've got sort of an outline set up here for a big orangutan display. And I just did that, um, because I am pre-planning, I'm going to start from the back of this area and work towards the front here, like, um, instead of just building whatever it is across the river and kind of cramming something in the corner when we get there. But let's go ahead and let's get started on our orangutan display, which has me very excited. Brand new biome, brand new things to do. Let's zoom in here. And uh, might be kind of hard to tell what's going on uh, just from the outline. Basically, I'm going to have an inside area for the guest here where they'll be able to view the orangutans through probably a large glass enclosure. I'm also going to have an outside area where it's going to be a little bit of an elevated path so they can look out across what's probably going to be a little bit of a uh, water barrier here. I've already gone ahead and separated a little area for inside 
uh, little shelters for our orangutans where we're going to put their beds, and I've marked out areas where our zookeepers can get in and out. And, um, okay, enough chatting, let's go along. Uh, let me find our orangutans real quick. Like I said, we're going to Tropical Rainforest for this. And I'm almost positive the orangutans are in here. I guess I should have double-checked that. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. The Borneo orangutans. Which is weird. I usually think they're called Sumatra orangutans. Maybe it got renamed with the, uh... Maybe it got renamed with the Radical Remake packs. I do have the Radical Remake orangutans. So they do look pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Alright, but let's get on with our great ape friends. Um, so I think I'm going to start... Probably going to start with the inside area here, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and start with that. And we'll grab some appropriate walls. Do to do, do. Okay, oh, uh, I'm not going to reduce this just to drop the rainforest. It's good all. Uh, I should also note, since these might take longer, since I plan on putting them as a little more detailed, um, going through and putting in like all the signage and everything I would want. Uh, I might end up breaking these guys into, like, uh, two or three, no, probably not three, but probably might take two videos to do a display, since they're going to be larger and more detailed. And if you hate the larger and more detailed, of course, feel free to leave comments below, and we can always switch back to the old style, but that's my plan for now. Um, Alright, let's start building this up. Uh, do I want to go three? Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with three for the main part here. Three, and then we're going to put in some windowed threes when they're walking on the path. Like that. Let me zoom in so I can see it a little better. Whee! And I might reduce that down to two. No, we'll leave it for three for now. Let's go ahead and put in our glass panels. Uh, we'll leave them as three high as well. Uh, and I'm gonna I want the one with the bars in between, like that. Very cool, very cool. Scoot down here. And I do apologize if it gets a little laggy. I've noticed here, um, as we've begun to fill up the zoo with more and more mods, as, uh, uh, it runs fine when I'm not recording, but once I start recording, it does have a little lag issue here every now and again, so I do apologize if that happens. I don't think it's too bad. Not uh, If it gets really bad, what I might end up doing is actually like going through and like temporarily taking the animals out, just so the computer doesn't have to worry about processing them. I think that might fix it, but uh, I haven't gotten to that drastic a measure yet. Hopefully I won't have to. Okay. So, this is going to be our inside area. Let's go with our jungle path. You know, I gotta say, um, I think this might be the first time I've ever actually done an orangutan. I've done lots of chimps and gorillas and other primates. But when I play Zoo Tycoon 2, for some reason, I don't know if I've ever put in an orangutan display. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's kind of weird. Um, okay. So, let's go ahead and... start painting in the area the correct way. 
Do 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 do. Grab you, and we'll start with the dirt for the rainforest. Mm, we got a couple little bushes there I didn't actually. Alright, so I'm going to want that, and I'm going to want this to be water. And let's get rid of these. No longer appropriate plants, they're gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure exactly where I'll have the ends there, but okay. Uh, so, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and raise this up a bit here. And smooth that down. And the reason I want this raised platform is because orangutans, like all the great apes that come with this, um, have a really cool, or at least I think they're really cool, uh, tire swing that they can play on. And so I want to raise up that tire swing and bring it to the front so that if you're a guest standing in this area, you're going to be able to look right across at them playing at it. It's going to be very cool, very obvious. Um, okay, and for habitats, do they have... Yeah, good. Just want to make sure that they, too, use a sleeping basket. I'm going to want to put sleeping baskets in their little shelters here, so they have places that they can go to sleep where they won't be looked at. Very cool. And I might make those homes a little bit wider. I might extend them out one more just to give them a little more room. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, I want to temporarily get rid of this. I'm just kind of... The idea of these little guys that I'm deleting right now was I was just going to uh, mark out an area where I want to make a covering for the uh, guest of the zoo so they can sit in the shade and watch. Alright, I'm going to delete those now so I can do a little bit of terrain altering because I do want this path raised up a little bit. This will be the outside viewing area here. Let's go ahead and put down some tile on that. We might have to temporarily get rid of the uh, fencing around it just so I can smooth that out the way I want it smoothed out. Uh, yeah, looks like we're going to have to do that. So, let's get rid of this real quick. close here so I can see it well. Just get it nice and flat and smooth and even. Right, let's pick a type of fencing we're going to want for our guest in this area. Uh, and I'm probably going to go with something fairly obstructing on the back half. Hmm. 
something higher though. Oop, that's smaller. Hmm, I wish these ones were labeled. That's pretty good. We'll see if there's any higher though. That one's got a window in it. That one's got glass. That one's just that. These fences are all really cool. Wish they were a little bit labeled is all. Alright, I think that's the one I'm going to go with for the back here. And I'll even put that on the sides. And then we'll put something much lower up front. In fact, we might just go with the low version of this guy. Nope. The low version of this guy. I'll find it. Let's see how that looks. Mm, that doesn't even seem substantial enough. Oh, that's too high. Nope. No. Nope. Ah, there we go. That one looks better. That's the height we want. Okay, and so we'll go ahead and do this for the whole area around. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and put down a path everywhere I want there a path to be. And that way I'll be easily able to tell where the, uh, see so I'm going to have to delete all this fence in order to get the path to the right height. Therefore I want to, or I'm going to re be required to delete all the fencing that's currently around it. So I'm setting down the path so I'll be able to tell where I need to put the fencing back when the path is done. Yes, I was able to complete that thought. I wasn't positive I was. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's go, let's go. Alright, let's get rid of that fencing temporarily so I can get everything to the correct height. Boom. Bring me my construction tools. Nice and even, and a little bit elevated here. Do to do. Okay, if it starts to slope here, in fact, we're going to smooth that out there. As long as all this is high. That looks right. That looks right. Let's get our smoother. And we'll make it wider so we can get sort of more evenly smooth throughout. Very cool. And now let's put our fencing up. to do and I think this was the higher one nope I never could get this right am I nope yep
And for just now, I don't intend the fence to stay here, but I'm going to rope this off, so... It's going to make it easier for me to control my reshaping tools here, because I want to flatten out... ...that as much as possible. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Uh, let's temporarily switch into guest mode to see if this is at the right height for staring at our tire swing. See, the tire swing looks like it's at the right height, but that front fence is just a little too intrusive. Um, I feared it might be, but that's okay. We'll find the perfect one, I am sure. Uh, let's go ahead and put the rope fence, I think. Or, uh, do I have that net fence? That might work. Yeah, yeah. If I can find it. Probably can't. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Where are you, net fence? Hmm. Well, I can't seem to be able to find it right now, so... I guess I'll let it go for a second, but I may stop later if it catches my eye and immediately go back to that. Yep, okay, I'm letting it go for now. For now, just a second. I'll be back with it later on. Okay, because I do want to continue sort of fleshing out my paths here. Ooh, went too high. There we go. Ooh. Annoying rocks. Goodbye. And this is something that I do recommend um, that I really wasn't doing with some of my earlier ones. The reasons kind of why I wanted to change the format a little bit is... Um, you see, I've left this room in here, just a place to throw in, like, trees and plants and stuff, so we can decorate it a little bit nicer. Make it as neat and awesome as possible. Okay. Oops. Alright, so that's going to be the pathway around. And so my thoughts for the entire area, I guess I should cover this right now, why it's interesting, or why we're in this zoomed up mode anyway, is I do have two pathways coming in here. One's going to be from the African area, one's going to be from down here, coming from that main little hub that we did way back in like episode two. And so it's kind of going to be like a little U. So I imagine like it comes off the bridge, uh, turns this way, so there's going to be one nice medium to large size exhibit here. Uh, it's going to go into our uh, orangutan exhibit, come back out this way. So there's probably going to be another large to mid size exhibit here. Uh, work back around, so another large to mid size exhibit here. And then probably a small little exhibit coming on the entrance here. So I'm thinking... Um, uh, some of the most requested animals I've had are some rhinos. We can definitely do some rhinos in here. Um, also get uh, some requests for tigers. Definitely have room for tigers somewhere in here. Uh, but definitely open to changes. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you're thinking about. Um, so for now, let's go ahead and I think we'll finish the... Let's go ahead and work on the actual shelter here. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this. This was just kind of a guideline for me. So, we'll open this up, and that little 
I guess little river water hazard is going to be the actual part of the orangutan shelter. They'll have that too. And we'll go ahead and begin building their homes now. Or their sleeping areas at least. I guess the whole place is their homes. They're wild animals. Uh, do I want these to be threes or twos? Let me try this as a two. I'm going to expand it a little bit like that. And I'm trying to think of where I want the zookeeper entrance to be. I think I'll keep it on the inside here so the guests can get right to it. Just like that. It's one little house for them. And like I said, I've never, as far as I can recall, I don't think I've ever done orangutans in this game for some reason. I'm not quite sure how they feel territorially, how much space they need. I'm assuming that like all primates, they do like family groups, so we'll definitely get a couple of them in there. Uh, definitely make sure they've got lots of things to play with, just because that makes it much more interesting for me. Alright, just like that. And just a little... So in that case, this right here will be the entrance to our building. Let's do it like that. Very cool. And if that's the case, I'm going to make the little sort of central circular area a little bit higher. I think I'm going to take these guys to a four. Just to give it a little more definition, make it a, a little more interesting. Alright, so let's see, it would be one, two, it would be like that. Whoops, that's still three, that's why it doesn't look any different. Whoopsie! Three or four, I did that. One too many, didn't I? Yep, one too many. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, very nice, very, very nice. Uh, do, do, do. Need to pick the type of fencing that's going to go down there, too. Uh, here. That actually isn't bad. Actually, that's a really nice fence. I really should use that much more. Wooden rope mens fence. The wooden rope mesh fence. Keep that in mind, folks. If I forget about that fence, remind me, because that's really nice. Um, but that's good to keep the people out. Now what's going to keep the orangutans in? It's okay. Switch into guest mode real quick and see how that looks like. I'm not 100% sold on it right now. It does look like it would be capable of keeping them in, what with the water in front of it, too. But I'm just not 100%. This one looks like it'd probably be too low. Yep. 
Do 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 do. I know this is the most exciting thing. The reason why you come here is to watch me peruse fences. But if we're going to make this look exactly right, it's what we got to do. So that's what we're gonna do. I keep it like that. That's not a bad look. It does have the virtue of looking like something you would see in a real zoo. So yeah, I do think I'm going to keep that at least for now. I might poke around with it later. Uh, do I want to... Let's go ahead and start putting in... Not going to do plants yet. Not going to do the decorations yet. Let's go ahead and get the habitat all nice and happy for our orangutans by putting in plants and rocks and things that they like. Uh, large rainforest rock. And let's find some trees for them. Well, first let's um let's make sure they've got all the enrichment items they need. Uh go ahead and use the monkey bars. We'll put that kind of close to the guest viewing area for the inside so they have something there. And I do have lots of neat little like structures. I'm not sure if they'll actually use these guys or not, but I'm putting them in because it looks really cool. And what's the difference between the two? Oh, that one looks nicer. That one looks more awesome. That's what it does. So just plenty of things for them to move around and play with. And let's get some actual trees. And we'll find some that are preferably in the same habitat they are. The Dura tree looks pretty nice. Unfortunately, they don't live in South America, but I do love K-pop trees. Orchid tree? It's not really... I mean, it works. It's in the right place, but it doesn't look all that... Okay, I don't know why these trees flash. But it scares me. Ah. Oh, we might have to go. I was kind of hoping for some big trees since we are trying to do rainforest. Ah. Brazil nut. these little trees here. will help kind of create that uh, multi-tiered structure you would expect from a rainforest. Alright, let's check and see how that's looking. Ooh, we got to unpause. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to get rid of this little one here so you can see the monkey bars more clearly. Can we move that to a slightly more prominent position? Yeah, that's fine. Put that out right there. Let's get to planting with our bushes. Banana leaves. Definitely gonna use those. Um, I think I got all these vine guys too. Yep. Let's see if we can't get that monkey tree to attach. There. Very cool. Those are extinct.
and I clicked on the extinct one again. Awesome. Where are the... I'm looking for the grasses. I'm sure I've got plenty of grasses. And I am because we are going for a reinforce effect. Going to be putting more plants into this one than I usually do. So if you see me putting down what seems like a lot of plants compared to the last couple of exhibits, that's why. It's getting this all nice and grassy. And we're still gonna try for realism states to like leave this area brown, like there's little paths that they tend to travel. And so like the areas underneath the monkey bars and everything, I'm gonna leave as green or as brown as possible. And then just fill in green around the rest. Let me see if there's some tall reinforced grass I can also. Not as much, but just to stagger it out. Make it look a little more wild, a little less manicured. Not enough. Or I guess technically just right. Yeah, too high. Those guys are too high. That looks pretty busy. I probably don't want to fill that up anymore. Let's take a look at it in guest mode here. Yeah, I don't like that internal fence we're using, so I probably will change that. Um, well, yeah, it looks like you can see everything pretty good here. Let's go ahead and check what the inside view looks like. Because um, we do want our inside guests to be able to see things very clearly as well. Let's run along here. Run, 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 run. You'll be able to see the monkey bars through there. Or at least the jungle gym, not the monkey bars. Oh, I got a little bit of grass peeking through. Uh, there's that lag I was talking about. See the monkey bars there. And from the big internal area here. Yeah, that looks like a really cool, really kind of... Really kind of awesome display, actually, if I can say so myself, if you allow me a moment to brag. I think it's turning out very well so far. Uh, how are we doing at time? We're at 39 minutes. Okay. Um, so this will be a to-be-continued. Um, next time, it's going to be basically uh, building the building. We're going to put the roofs on. Uh, we're going to put in a bunch of signs and displays. Um, we're going to go make areas for the guests to be in the shade here. And then we're going to do all the outside planting for uh, our display, just so you can see uh, what it really, really should look like. And I'm, I'm really liking this format, but if you prefer the old one where I try to um, sort of speed things along and make sure that everything is done, or at least I get one exhibit done per episode, which was the, my previous goal, um, let me know that in the comments as well. Uh, Thank you so much for watching today. Oh, before I go, I should also send out another advertisement. I am looking to begin another Let's Play series as a co-op zoo. And, um, yeah, so if anybody's interested and has the means to record their Zoo Tycoon experience, wants to do a co-op zoo with me, uh, please send me a message or leave a comment below. If you have any ideas of what else you want in our rainforest area, please feel free to comment about that, too. Um... All right, I'm going to let you go now. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll be back soon with Orangutan Exhibit Episode 2.
two, the monkey returns. I know they're not technically monkeys, they're they're great apes. Please don't comment. <laughs>